Hey guys, Thunder E here, and I've been waiting a while for this device right here. This is the Harman Kardon Invoke speaker powered by Cortana. Yes, Cortana has left the PC and now is in a speaker, which means you can do voice controls and all that fun stuff. So you know Cortana quite well. Cortana is, uh, of course, Microsoft's AI assistant that's been living on our desktop, and now we can finally control it anywhere within your home. Now, this is a speaker built by Harman Kardon, retails for $199. You can pick it up on the 22nd, and uh, what I like about the speaker is that it delivers some really rich audio, which is, number one, one of my favorite things. Um, it's got 360-degree sound. It's well-built. It is a very sturdy speaker. It doesn't feel flimsy. Also, it's got this nice metallic sheen. Now, in terms of design, you do have a, a volume ring here on the top that you can rotate to actually increase the volume if you don't want to actually ask Cortana to do that. You can tap on the very top to access Cortana. You can see there's an LED light that shows up. At the bottom, uh, you do have a Bluetooth um, button to actually pair your smartphone to actually play music directly or a mic mute button to just mute the seven microphones that you have on the Harman Kardon Invoke. So, now I mentioned, of course, audio. How good is it? Because one of the things I have not liked about a lot of voice assistants is the fact that they're small, tiny speakers, and you know you don't get a rich amount of audio from there. So um, let's see how it actually sounds. I'm gonna play something from my phone and we'll just see. Increase the volume. <laughs> Hey Cortana, pause. So you can see even with the music playing directly from my phone, I can still access Cortana to pause and you can see Cortana of course uh, loads the music, I can pause it and I have that kind of functionality. But besides playing music, what else can you do with Cortana? Cortana has a bunch of skills. Uh, you have skills you can add in there. You've also got home automation. So I have my Samsung SmartThings connected to this as well as my Philips Hue speak, uh, lights, which I use in a lot of my videos and I can control the lights. I can turn them off and on. So I'm gonna tell Cortana, hey Cortana, Turn on all lights. It's gonna turn on that light and the rest of them around. Sorry, I can't find a device named backlight. Oh, sorry. Hey Cortana, turn on all lights. Turning on all lights. All right, so you can see that there. Lights are turned on, that's a little loud. I'm gonna turn that down. Uh, so all the lights are turned on. I have home automation controls. I can turn on my thermostat if I choose to. It's just gonna be super loud if I actually do that. I can also um, play uh, different speakers, some connected speakers I have in my house. Everything that's on my smart things I can control, which is great. But again, Cortana is also a great tool where you can use around the home. I can ask it for you know different things in my location. So I can say, hey, hey Cortana, What's the best Thai restaurant in my area? I found a few Thai restaurants near you that have good reviews. Hey Cortana, the club? stop. I don't want to, you know, but you, you get the whole idea. So those skills are being added and there are more skills you can add and that will be added more to the system. Uh, so you do have those things there. Now I would love to see this grow and continue. Um, in terms of just the skills you can add, the things you can actually do. But I'm glad there are a lot of things that actually work currently on it. So you do have uh, music services like uh, Groove Music or Spotify, uh, TuneIn Radio also. You can access NPR through TuneIn Radio, which I usually do for most of my connected devices. So I do like that. I think it's a great start for Microsoft, especially with a partner like Harman Kardon, to give you something that gives you some really solid audio uh, all around. So for me, this is a really good start. I would like to see this grow and expand. The one thing I do hope they fix, or at least improve. Sorry, I'm not able to help with this one yet. I was listening the whole time. Hey Cortana, stop. Okay. Uh, the one thing um, it needs to improve is actually uh, response time. You can see that each time I told you to do something, it was a little slow. So if I say, hey Cortana, turn off all lights. 
Turning off all lights. See how long that took? That needs to change, or at least that needs to be improved. But still, it will do the tasks you want it to do. Uh, you can ask Cortana different things. I can say, hey Cortana, what's on my calendar today? You don't have anything scheduled for today. Okay, so it accesses those things that you wanted to access, like your calendar, what you're doing. Um, you can actually uh, do mapping directions. All that kind of stuff can be done with it. Uh, like any other voice assistant, we just have to see it improve and get more contextual in its, its processing in terms of what it can actually do. But I do like it, and I think this is a good start. Um, and if you guys are interested about picking this up, again, it will be available October 22nd. Uh, don't forget to ask me any questions, guys. Uh, if you have any about uh, the Harmacon Invoke powered by Cortana, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, and definitely subscribe to the channel. Once you do, hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment. Hey, Cortana, who am I? Enabom. There we go.